Continuity Buzzer. Move the function selector to the Ohm's Continuity Buzzer setting and press the Mode button once. This will select the buzzer. The buzzer will sound even if as much as 35 ohms is present, so you cannot trust it entirely without more careful testing. The continuity buzzer is a good way to determine if something is happening, but it is not a substitute for the ohm meter. Continuity buzzer. Hit the mode button once, moves to continuity, but you still have to read ohms. If you're listening but not reading, then you're not doing it right. You have to listen and read, and if you don't do both, then there's a chance you'll miss the problem. Okay? So as, uh, as frustrating as it might be, the continuity buzzer doesn't really do what most people think it does. Okay? You still have to read the resistance, because this will beep on three ohms, three to four ohms, which is an AC clutch. It will not beep on a relay coil, which is about 100 ohms. Both show continuity, but only one of them beeps. And in both cases, the beep is technically wrong. Because in one case, it's telling you that you do have continuity, but you still have resistance. In the other case, it's telling you that you don't have continuity, but you have resistance. So use the continuity buzzer with caution, okay? Don't just stick it in there, okay? Don't just go listening for the beep. Be more uh, professional than that. Pay attention to all the details that the meter has to offer. All right, now when you use the continuity buzzer, remember it's over here, ohms continuity and diode check. Mode button once, goes to continuity buzzer, okay? And it beeps. You gotta be cautious though, because it's also giving you a resistance. And you cannot simply trust the beep, okay? Notice this is continuity, and we had 108 ohms here, well, I'm still getting 108, but I got no beep, okay? So that means that I have continuity, but I don't have a beep. Well, if you were trusting this, listening for the beep, you'd say, oh, I have a broken wire, I have open, I have con no continuity. Well, you do have continuity. You just don't have a low enough continuity, low enough resistance to make the, beep, uh, the beeper, uh, the buzzer beep, okay? So I'm reading this, I'm on continuity buzzer, but, I'm not getting a beep. So that's the first thing you got to be cautious of. The second thing you got to be cautious of is you might get a beep and there still will be resistance. Here's the 3.9 ohms of the AC clutch and I'm getting a beep but I can't simply trust that there's a, the beep means zero. The beep means in this case 3.9. So you cannot use the continuity buzzer unless you pay attention to the amount of resistance shown on the screen as well. So the continuity buzzer cannot be used just by itself. You have to use it with the reading on the meter to confirm that you have continuity and that you have, uh, you know what your resistance is. The way that I use the continuity buzzer more than anything else is that I use it to know if something is happening, but not if it's happening right. It's a time thing. Is it happening? Okay, I had to pause for a truck to leave the truck shop here. Um, the continuity buzzer, like I said, requires that you not only measure, uh, listen for the beep, but you also have to know what the measurement is. And I use it largely to know if something is happening, but I don't try to use it to tell me whether I have good continuity or not. It tells me if it's working, if the switch is closing, but it doesn't tell me if it's doing it exactly right, okay? So the biggest caution I have is for you to be very careful when it comes to the continuity buzzer and for you not to get lazy and just listen and hear something and assume it's good.